What you mean you don't know Panda? She's dope. What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What is Poppy YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dope Ass Panda, and today I am doing knotless box braids on 4C hair, and I'm super excited to do this video because the last time I did knotless box braids on 4C, everybody was like, oh my gosh, my stylist told me that she can't do it on my hair, or I didn't think that my hair would hold knotless box braids, so I'm super excited to share this video with you guys. So, I know you guys read the title and was like, what, Panna? I can't believe you, but today I am debunking this rumor for you guys, so hang on tight and just watch me work my magic. So I did link all of the products that I use in the description section. I know a lot of people always ask what products I would recommend for 4C hair. And the Shining Gem Silk Edges is literally strong enough to get a nice clean knotless box braid on 4C hair. So if you have not tried this yet, I would definitely recommend trying this. Um, in addition to that, if this usually doesn't work, then I use Murray's Edge Wax. Not the Extreme Hold one, but um, whatever like the regular hold is but honestly I mean I just noticed that like everybody's hair is different and I kind of just have to play around with products this is a client of mine who I've been doing her hair for probably a year or two now so I pretty much know her hair and what will work on it she did blow dry her hair out herself so it's not like completely straight but this is a decent blow dry for her to do on herself because usually if I show y'all how she be showing up it is disrespectful she be tangled knotted she always got an excuse, but she's literally one of my favorite clients ever. It's always a great time when she's sitting in my chair, so I don't even trip. I just, I know when she comes in, it could be anything underneath her bonnet. So, yes, I'm super excited to share this transformation with you guys. to keep their knotless box braid tight at the root so I make sure that I apply the product at the root and I'm just gonna kind of comb that through and I'm combing all of the hair in the direction that I want it to go so sometimes at the bottom I'll comb up and then boom these two fingers right here you want to make sure that you keep this pinch really really close to the scalp so when I say like your pinch is those two fingers together your pointer and your thumb you want to make sure that you keep that towards the base of the client's head and that will help to make sure that your braid stays tight at the root so if you don't braid the same way as me I know some people braid with their middle finger and like some other fingers I don't know how y'all do that y'all are blessed for real talented um if you braid differently than whatever um fingers that you are using to like anchor your braid that's the fingers that you want to keep close to the scalp when you first start your braid out and that'll help to make sure that that root is nice and tight
So for my large knotless box braids, I do always do one braid right above the ear just because their hair is usually thinner in this area and I'm trying to keep all of the braids pretty much around the same size. So I always do one right above the ear here. This client actually has really long sideburns like really long she's hairy but she said that she usually um shaves them off so i didn't really worry about that too much but in the front i do try to like kind of swoop the hair in so i can kind of mimic around what i want the edges to look like so you'll see me more like try to swoop the hair in sometimes it stays sometimes it doesn't but it's kind of just like a rough draft before i actually do the edges So yes guys, we are on our last braid and I did end up using three packs of Expressions braiding hair and that's mainly because I extended these braids. She was trying to have a hot girl summer even though we can't go anywhere. So I am going to um, film a separate tutorial that will show you guys how to extend the length of your braids because I know a lot of people have asked me that saying that they get lumps and stuff and I add underneath but I will definitely do a separate tutorial and show you guys how I add length to my box braids or braids in general. So yes, as you guys can see, these braids are really, really long, but we're gonna go ahead and put beads at the end. So everything's gonna turn out really cute. So yes, just hang tight. So yes guys, here we are at the finished look. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you guys learned something. Sis is popping. She is literally one of my favorite clients. I also slayed her sister's hair who's type four, so definitely look out for that. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you guys can be updated every single time I post. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys next time. What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. <laughs> What you mean? Uh, what you mean? What you mean? Uh, what you mean? Uh, what you mean? Uh, what you mean?